my top five exercises to build a great butt. Don't you want to look good naked? So my number one would be a bent knee RDL. So either with a barbell or a trap bar or even with a cable machine, that's a great movement to work your glutes in the lengthened or stretched position. So I like those different variations and kind of mix them up throughout my training. So number two would be a glute bias split squat. So with this, there's different variations of split squats that you can do, some that bias the quads more and some that bias the glutes. So I really like the variation where you are doing the glute bias split squat with your back leg elevated, so your rear foot elevated, and holding on to something for hand support. So instead of doing this with holding two dumbbells in your hand, you can do it with holding a squat rack or a PVC pipe or something that you can hold on to, whether that's a stick or a foam roller, that gives you a little bit more support so you can really get a lot of stability out of that movement and focus on feeling the tension in your glutes rather than focusing on kind of balancing and coordination. So when you're performing the glute bias split squat, just make sure that you are keeping your shin vertical and flexing at the hip versus the knee. Because again, if we're trying to bias the glutes, we actually wanna get less knee flexion so that we don't bring the quads into it. And with this, you can think about keeping your shin vertical and leaning forward a little bit to flex more at the hip. That's gonna allow you to stretch your glutes a little bit more and get the most out of that. Number three would be a barbell glute bridge. So the barbell glute bridge is a little bit different than the barbell hip thrust in that the range of motion that you're focused on is actually just the top portion of the hip thrust. So the glute bridge is gonna focus more so on keeping a lot of tension and contraction in your glutes at the top position, and that will prevent some other muscles from kind of taking over. So in a traditional barbell hip thrust, it's actually a general lower body movement. You have your quads coming in, your adductors coming in, which are just your inner thigh muscles. But if we really wanna focus on those glutes, just focus on that top position of the glute bridge, making sure you're keeping your shins vertical and really emphasizing that hip extension and that squeeze at the top of the movement. So number four would be a 45 degree hip extension. So this is gonna be one where if you have this machine in your gym, that's awesome. If you don't, you can actually set this up in either a Smith machine or in a squat rack with a barbell and adding a hip pad across that barbell. The main things that you wanna pay attention to with the 45 degree hip extension extension is that you're setting up so that your hip crease is above either the barbell or the machine that you're using. So you can really emphasize your glutes with this. If the barbell or the machine is above that hip crease and you're performing this movement, you might feel it a little bit more in your back muscles, so your erectors, and that would be more so focused on the back extension side of it. But if you really wanna get the most out of our glutes, we need to make sure that we are flexing at the hips. When you're performing the 45 degree extension, just make sure that you're kind of keeping your chin tucked a little bit and you're making sure that your spine is neutral throughout the entire movement. We don't wanna extend at the top too much or round too much, cause that's gonna take away from where we're trying to get the most out of that movement, which is in the glutes. Number five would be the wide arc cable kickback. So that's one of my favorites to really target your glute max muscle, which is your biggest glute muscle. We have different glute muscles, glute me, glute min, and kickbacks can target different areas of that. But the glute max wide arc cable kickback is one of my favorite because it allows you to bring your foot up so that you're getting a good stretch in your glutes before you kick back into that shortened contracted position. Just kidding, I have two more. So bonus number one is gonna be a deficit reverse lunge. So with this one, just make sure that you're standing on a little bit of an elevated platform. So whether that's with a plate or a step, and you can hold dumbbells in your hand. And when you step back, think about stepping back and down and keeping your hips a little bit flexed so you're leaning forward and creating a little bit more of that stretch in your glute. And then just make sure that you're keeping your shin a little bit more vertical so that you don't bring too many quad muscles into it. Bonus movement number two would be a floating trap bar deficit deadlift. So it's a mouthful, but this is a great movement, especially if you don't have a leg press machine. So with the floating trap bar deficit deadlift, just make sure that you're stepping on a plate or some type of step that gives you enough elevation so that when you come down to the bottom position, you actually are not touching the weight to the floor. 
and you're pausing for a second to create a lot of tension in those glutes in that stretch position. And then as you come up, just make sure you're exploding and pushing through the midfoot and feeling a lot of tension in your glutes. So those are my top five or seven, I guess, exercises that I love for building your biggest booty. <laughs> We believe.